total speaking time and one minute per speaker. Those wishing to speak, please raise your placards. Uruguay. The United Kingdom does not believe in commercial whaling and we agree with the current monitorium that is over commercial whaling. The nation of Japan believes that a far more sustainable and agreeable policy would be to allow countries to have the ability to catch a limited amount of, of whales in thriving species. And traditional whaling should be allowed uh, under under strict cultural purposes, and a token system should be used for uh, to find a reasonable quota for scientific whaling. Surrounding Australia from up to three miles off the coastline, we have a whale sanctuary that does not permit interfering, harming, or killing of whales. Kiribati has always believed in being able to farm the sea, and while we do not whale. We believe that you should, if something is not endangered, you should be able to hunt it. For example, there are over a million mink whales, still a billion mink whales, and those should be able to be hunted. Uh, one thing to add is that lethal research is surprisingly helpful because although it may seem like it's killing the whales, it actually helps the species overall. This is because it allows you to view the stomach contents of the whale, which ensures that scientists are able to know if uh, the food chain is healthy and that whales aren't being killed from other sources. New Zealand believes that the commission should have the responsibility for the management of all whales and dolphins. And as a geographically isolated country with many plants and animals, New Zealand has a strong interest in the species conservation. Um, half the world's species of whales, dolphins, and porpoises are found in our waters. And many whales migrate from the breeding grounds of the tropics um, to our region. We believe that non-lethal research does just as much to research the ecosystem and to make sure the whales are healthy and thriving. There should be whaling for cultural purposes because some tribes need whales for sustenance. Australia ceased our whaling policy in 1997, 1979, making it illegal to whale in Australia. That has benefited our economy and not only is the whale population thriving in Australia, but it is also a common activity for tourists to go whale watching. I do not see the purpose of scientific lethal research. It's simply a fact that lethal research gives us more information to determine the age, the blubber thickness, the stomach content, the, uh, the qualitative analysis, the genetic analysis, and many other things. We use methods such as biopsy to learn about the infectious diseases or mental disabilities that humans go through. Why should we be using lethal research on whales when they too have brains, they have hearts, and they feel just like humans do? And maybe restricting every country to two whales per year. I think it's um, a good compromise because a species of a whale is not gonna go extinct from just two a year per country. There are so many different types of species and you also would have to monitor when some are children, some are adults, and different subspecies too. Two whale quota is preposterous and also, although New Norway would love to agree with Australia and would love to use biopsy uh, and satellite tracking, it's just simply not possible because of how effective lethal research is. The problem is that, when, uh, is that when whales die, they sink to the bottom, making it almost impossible for us to retrieve their bodies and study them. Say for each whale we kill, we find that there's like tons of plastic. Well, we know what's killing them. That's killing whales in the process of seeing what kills them. And I just don't think that's the best way to do it. 122 pregnant whales, mink whales alone, were killed by Japan in one year. Those were whales who were about to produce even more whales. Lethal research is needed because of 
how much information it gives. I cannot stress this enough. Satellite tagging cannot show you the inside of a whale's stomach contents. There are more than a million mink whales. Think of them just like pigs. We're killing them for profit because there are enough of them so you can still hunt them. In March of 2014, the court found that Japan's Southern Ocean Whaling Program was not for purposes of scientific research. And how do we know this is not going to happen again? And all those in favor of a 10 minute unmoderated caucus. One, two, three, four, five, six. The chair acknowledges that this is the majority. Would the countries of the IWC come together and agree upon what species would be allowed to be hunted for scientific research? Um, yeah, we have criteria that... here, which is already predefined, and uh, therefore is unnecessary to, to uh, year after year uh, bring this up. If people are just going to be using tokens, how do they not know that they're just going to use it without saying that they're using tokens? Because uh, that would be poaching, and it's actually a crime already. The preambulatory phrases are things that you say, recalling, remembering. It's things that are just reminding people, not putting something forward. The preambulatory clauses generally are designed just to lay out the object and purpose in broad form. You don't need to say, we want to accomplish this. You're just laying the groundwork of, these are all the things we agree on. And because we agree on those, we're taking this next step, which is the substantive part of the resolution. There's going to be an issue of what counts as commercial. Because if you do research on a whale, you cut open its stomach, you look at what's there, can you sell the rest of the carcass? This resolution needs to be better organized, and there needs to be a list that states what species of whales are on this list of whales that you're receiving tokens for, and how many tokens there are. Because without this information, it's confusing. We'll have a 10 minute unmoderated caucus okay. starting now. Okay. So these masters, judges are going to be nominated in a fair way. The WTC would be deciding who was appointed. Japan has been known to buy votes with aid. The maximum vote. number of tokens available to the state yeah. from two I'm to one. Sure. All those in favor of this amendment, please raise their placards. The Roll amendment does not pass. Required. The whole point of this is to, is, is to learn more about whales so we can, so we can help the whale population thrive. I hope that you can all vote for this. Thank you. From all the countries that there are overall at least two to three million whales born each year. So this 12,000 whales being used for lethal research is actually beneficial to the species as a whole. But I believe it is best to combine both non-lethal research and lethal research to get the best of both worlds and all of the benefits possible. The point of this bill was to lower the number of whales killed every year in the name of research. And it has done the opposite of that. This has raised the number from a couple hundred to 1,280. That is more than a couple hundred. 11, 12, 13. Yes! 13 votes required for the resolution to pass, and there are 13 votes in favor of the resolution to pass. Whale killers! There's a lot of whales that are endangered, and we need to keep them alive and make sure they're healthy and striving. And once they are, that's the time that we can slowly bring in commercial whaling. Many people, like fishermen, depend on commercial whaling. There are countries who say that whaling is an important part of their economy, but so is whale watching. Whale watching is also a huge industry because everyone wants the opportunity to see these beautiful, majestic sea creatures. It's exactly what's going to happen when the more important events. All of these commercial whaling companies are going to be so eager to make a profit that they're going to go out and they're totally going to destroy the whale population almost immediately. That is why the moratorium must stay. 
This resolution prevents overfishing of whales while allowing people whose lives depend on whaling to live independently. Preambulatory clauses acknowledging the large whaling industries across many nations for various purposes. I think if we meet with these tribes and find out how many whales they want and how many they need, and we can find a good compromise in the middle, so they are happy and we are happy. There are different groups of people and they have different numbers of people in them, so a quota for some people would not be enough for other groups. Also, um, if people go above the quota, uh, if they reach the quota but um, it's not enough to for sustenance for them, then the IWC will have a big problem and all the native tribes will be mad because they don't have food. They don't sell things, they don't do everything for profit. They do it for the benefit of themselves and others, and they're only taking as much as they need. They're not taking extra because they can. Therefore, an unlimited amount of whales for them to hunt is unnecessary, and they won't want it. Thank you. We will vote first on the 10 minute question and answer. All those in favor, please raise your placards for five. Say there are there's two types, there's two tribes. One called the we'll call them the A tribe or the B tribe, or just nations of people. So say the B tribe doesn't want to whale. Now the A tribe will do extra whaling and they can sell them to the B tribe because they're also indigenous people. That is not selling to a third party, so it's technically illegal under the current IWC. All those in favor of adding to the text. Creating a quota for 0.4 whales for every person. Every 0.4 whales per year per person of the indigenous population. All those in favor of this amendment, please raise your placards now. 12, 13, 14. This amendment passes. That's because this, the resolution says it's a reasonable compromise. It does not mean that it actually is a compromise or that it's reasonable. If by voting for this bill, the resolution you're condemning whales to death. The United Kingdom knows that this monitorium is the only thing keeping these whales alive. Esteemed delegates, I have two words for you. Extinction and passion. Extinction is what the moratorium is preventing and it is what will happen to the whale species if we lift the moratorium. And passion. Countries that believe that it is okay for commercial whaling are lacking passion for the environment. Uh, Norway and uh, Iceland have continued whaling throughout the mor moratorium with a special exemption. And uh, whale, as Kiribati said, whale populations are still rebounding. It is harmful to people who have worked previously in the whaling industry. Whale's population is getting higher, so we should lift the moratorium. The topic is this resolution prevents overfishing of whales while allowing people whose lives depend on whaling to live independently. Desiring sustainable whaling because it is the best solution and benefits everyone because it keeps the whale population the most stable while benefiting fishermen and the economies of many countries both through whale watching and the whaling industry. The WQC to decide if the quotas proposed by countries are fair based on the population and among a whaling per, and a amount of whaling performed. Are countries that do not want to resume whaling, they, do they have to um, uh, do they have to set a quota above zero? If you are a country that doesn't want any commercial whaling, you can set your quota to be zero. Who's funding this? Is the IWC generally gets money from, from fees from its members. Legitimate yeah. question of where the money will come from. And you can say that'll be addressed later or in a different resolution, or you can increase membership yeah, dues. We would be open to any funding amendments if you feel that is an important issue. We have instated three Slovenia, committees, please. new committees already, and none of those committees 
have forms of funding. This tax is not going to be enough to fund all four new committees if this resolution passes. Uh, this still keeps the moratorium on whaling. It just allows quotas inside of the 20, uh, 12 nautical mile range between between countries. Thank you. Whales are at the top of the food chain, and if they overpopulate our fish, there will not be as many fish as the plankton will all be gone. In addition, the whales are assisted because they still have a vast range where they can swim that is, still has the moratorium on it. I believe that a compromise is the best of both worlds. For looking at this bill, it's only the best of one. What does it give to the countries that don't whale? It's so called compromise. It's literally they took all their ideals and all their goals and put it in one bill. You're saying you don't want to end bribery, which bribery is a bad thing, and it makes nations corrupt. They can still give them other things that won't be traced by cash or check. There's literally nothing that stops one country giving the, another country money that which they can then uh, pay for this. This again, simply with some easy means. All those in favor of the resolution, raise your placards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. The resolution does not pass. The I chair will end the debate. I believe that relationships are one of the most important parts of debate, especially trusting relationships. I had to rely and trust um, my other delegates in my coalition to vote against the bill and I believe that the bill lost by one vote. Culture is a big part of what we do today. It influences what we do, think, and say. Although negotiation plays an important role on working, on working toward a common goal, compromises can become unhealthy when they undermine others' personal beliefs. I think the reason why the council was able to pass two strongly pro-whaling uh, pro resolutions in a majority anti-whaling uh, committee was a combination of persuasive negotiation and luck. I bit my tongue, knowing that this one vote would be the difference between winning and losing. Slowly, the placards raised. First two, then five, and finally ten. I drew a sigh of relief. This is by far the most intense moment in the debate. And that's really what made this what it was and made it successful. And it was something that challenged people because it was more than going to the New York Times or the Washington Post or a congressman's webpage. It required a fair amount of depth of research to even know what we're talking about and what the issues are. And that's something that the students did an incredible job with.